Hey. Oh, hey, Hans. Hey. Are you working on any tune? No, I'm just, uh, I can only play like four chords on the guitar when it's in standard, so I'm trying to see if I can write something. Well, me too. Yeah. Just move them up with a capo and then you're fine. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Yeah, capo seven, uh, <laughs> A minor shape. It really suits you. Thanks. I was enjoying uh, the semi hollow, but um, then I think that for whatever reason, I don't know why, the fretboard on this is a little bit more comfortable for me. Well, that one is um, like mm. three and a half thousand pounds mm. worth of guitar. So. Probably that. <laughs> might might <laughs> be, it might feel different to, to this one, which is obviously a fantastic guitar. Yeah. But, uh, well, I like the sound of that a lot. I just. But this uh, isn't a Chapman promo. What were, you, what were you writing? You're writing a song, working uh, on that cover thing. Yeah, I, I was enjoying the cover, but I just, <laughs> all of you guys are going to laugh. I'm finding F really difficult, even okay. when it's really basic like this. And I think it's just because of my, my like, posture in a way. So Beers tried to teach me to sit a bit more like, with the guitar, less in front. I think what you need to do is learn how to put down a barrow. What's that? Like a, a straight line with a yeah. chord. I can teach you that. That's pretty yeah, good. I can kind of do like this shape. Okay, so I can immediately like see the problem. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Take your finger up and push against my finger. Now you see that to make that strong, you're bending your finger. Yeah. So when you bend your finger, strings underneath it pass through. Yeah. If you push from the center of your finger, it's straight. Oh. You see, you feel that? Yeah. 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 So when you're putting your bar down, push from the center of your finger. The center is like here though for me. Is what right? I mean is as your finger is down, obviously this is the hardest because it's the biggest, push from push from that mm. part of your finger and right. not from the tip. Okay. So push from... Oh, that makes sense. Let me come up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, do it. Try it in the middle of the guitar. And also, put the bar down first, since it's the structural beginning. Oh, and then you can grip properly. And, and rather than bending it at the knuckle here, if that's the case, you need to bring your foot... That's it, until it's straight. You bring it down further. Mm. Now push from there. There you go. Now play the chord. Oh, that is actually... There you go. Yeah, that's play better. Bar chord. It's all about yeah. your, your mind's intention of pushing from the right part of the bar. Right. Yeah, and then what you just that take this finger. That's the most useful thing. Get a bucket of iron filings and strike the iron filings for as long as you, as you can. But to make it tough. Iron finger. Iron finger. <laughs> okay. Can so I try, try enough? This first. Okay. So bar foot, don't, don't use that finger to help it. Just put the finger down. That's it. Also, your, your seated <laughs> posture is not... Is not assisting it's you. It's terrible, isn't it? Well, it's not terrible. It's just not. Uh, you would be better off learning with the guitar like placed in between, so that because your your body <clears throat> wants to do. I'm showing how to that. Your body doesn't want to do that. Doesn't want to straight arm. It wants to be like this. Yes. That is kind of easy. I still want to. I still have that instinct of wanting to go. Well, is that the right string? No. Next one. There you go. Push from the middle of that finger. <laughs> And that sound you made is the perfect sound for F. That's the F sound. I can't reach that though. I so think I need to like stretch. When that. you put your first finger down to make the bar, if you look at my wrist. It's very bent. It's very down. So that this first finger is completely straight to the fist knuckle. You see my knuckle right down here is it's just a straight line. What I'm not doing is bending my finger around the fretboard. It's a straight line. Straight. So I've got my wrist dropped. So That's it. Like but that. bring your finger down lower because your first finger is popping over the edge of the fretboard. Like that. That's it. That's, yeah. it. That's it. Then put the rest of the fingers on. Start with your, start with your second finger. Build a uh, down a string. There you go. <laughs> and now the other two. There you go. Perfect. Now play that. So wrist okay? Perfect. Oh my goodness. That's good. Do it again. This is what I'm so lazy. I just play an open tuning. This is why. Well, there's nothing wrong with working around your issues, but it's just about that straight finger given by the wrist, if the wrist isn't in the right posture. You can also do it, you could also cheat and do, you know, kind of cowboy versions like the Jimi Hendrix vibe and thing. Yeah, I but feel like that looks easier, but I actually think it's harder. It's harder. Jimi had enormous hands. Oh. If it helps, what did you do? Swore. It's fine to swear on my YouTube channel. No, <laughs> maybe the first time I've ever sworn on the internet. It's uh, completely fine. Okay. Do it. Oh we'll work on it. Yeah, uh, I'm going backwards again. It might my be shoulder muscle is like... <laughs> so strong. Okay. 
Hello. Also, you're pressing really hard. You don't need to press that hard. I, I, so, I feel like it buzzes if I don't. Uh, to be fair. I think it's more the technique and the posture than it is the strength. I right. think you'll find you're stronger than you realise. I mean, you got damn forearms. <laughs> it's a supply line. Sub guns. You have already got guns. Thank you. So, yeah, as soon as you put your finger there, I can see that, it, that you've not given it enough wrist through. That's it. Oh, like that. Yeah, see? Now your finger's straight. Watch, bring it back, and you see it bends? Oh, yeah. Wrong, and then right. That's perfect. Oh, posture. yeah, it feels like it kind of gives you length all through it here. It gives you a longer finger. Okay. Bend. So one, once it's straight, then place the rest. Oh, so this... put the second finger on first. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And then, oh my then God. those. And also, tell yourself it's easy. If you tell yourself it's hard, it'll be hard. Play that. Relax. That's what she said. <laughs> there you go. That's better. See? Now take your hand off and build it again. You want to just practice taking your hand away, placing it on. So start with the first finger. Push the wrist through until the finger's straight. There you go. Now play. Now build the chord. And also, make it easier for yourself. Start, start up here. Okay. Do it again. So put the finger on. Push the right wrist a bit more. That's it. Oh, I'm going further this way than I normally... Yeah, Doesn't that's... Matter. No, no, that's... Oh, my goodness. You got it. I try not to get frustrated. Frustration mm -hmm. is a temporary feeling associated with being better than you, than you are at the moment. True debt. True debt things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you see this finger has given way. Yeah. Now, that's... I think it's because my nail's a bit long. It, it's exactly because your nail is too long. So, are you putting your... Try it again. So, now let's see if your second finger flops in the middle. So finger, and then give it a bit more rest because it's slightly bent. There you go. Still. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Jeez. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess you just like anything. You just get the right muscles working in the end, don't you? You do. And then there you go. That's good. That looks really good. There you oh. go. Really good. Do it again. Good. You don't have to do that because what you're telling yourself there is that it was hard work and you need to stretch the muscles out. Yeah. You need to tell yourself it's easy. Relax. So okay. finger on. <laughs> And then wrist through, good. And then second finger, and then third and fourth, and then and then play yourself. Nice C sharp. How do I get this further away from here without? So let's take a look at the wrist. If the wrist comes through, you get more space. Mm -hmm. If the wrist comes back, you get less space. Mm -hmm. So it's it's about your wrist posture, and also you're playing with the guitar horizontal. Your your hand doesn't want to sit in a horizontal posture it wants to be slightly bent mm -hmm. because of course we don't naturally put our hand in that kind of torsion to build it? that's a lot that's a lot more natural but that's given way there you go perfect but I think your hair is hitting a harmonic point on the strings huh? Hannah didn't get that reference because she's never watched Spinal Tap no. and at that point we'll say goodbye